Responsibility for safety extends from ship owners and senior managers throughout the ranks of shore-based and shipboard personnel. Simply stated, when it comes to safety, everyone has a role to play. Your vessel's safety culture emphasizes training as well as responsibility. Safety, security, and environmental training are critical elements of ship operations, and everyone has both the right and the responsibility to participate in all required training sessions. The objective is to give you the skills and understanding it takes to do your job safely and well. You'll get initial training when you join your ship as part of the ship familiarization process. Okay, guys, looks like we have a uh, breach of security. We got a person that's uh, unaccounted for. Somewhere. You and your crewmates will receive regular refresher training as part of routine ship operations. And for those who need it, remedial training will be provided. You have the right and the responsibility to question your supervisors about any aspect of vessel operations and associated safety procedures you don't understand. The safety of the vessel and its personnel always come first, and you are part of the eyes and ears of the ship leadership team. Please report to your supervisor if you witness an accident, injury, near miss, or unsafe condition. The chain of accountability is designed to provide overlapping layers of responsibility for shipboard safety. It is important that you understand your position within the chain. The master has overall responsibility for managing the safety of the vessel. His officers exercise authority within their departments. In general, the master serves as leader of the deck department, while the chief engineer assumes the same role in the engine room. They in turn delegate authority for specific tasks to other officers and members of the crew. The port has ordered us to bring the ship up to Marsec level two, which is gonna require locking down all the exterior The safety officer manages onboard safety in conjunction with the master. He is responsible for ensuring that all hands undergo ship familiarization procedures and direct safety training operations and drills. Okay, Paul, I don't see any other additional hazards here. Nobody else is working in this area. So I guess we can sign the JHA. He conducts area inspections to ensure that JHA and permit to work requirements are being met and that work is proceeding safely. He conducts regular safety audits as specific tasks are performed and shares his findings with the ship leadership team. Yeah, Coda, what you uh, got? You got them? You have a minute? Yeah, sure, come in, sit down. I was out uh, on deck doing some work. Your supervisor is your primary contact within the ship leadership team. If you have a problem that your supervisor is unable or unwilling to resolve, you may communicate with your department head, with the master, or with the designated person who serves as a direct link between shore-based and at-sea personnel. Don't attempt to undertake a task for which you have not been trained and authorized. If you have any questions or concerns about which tasks you are and are not authorized for, ask your supervisor for direction. Hey, Eric, stop. Please put on your PPA. If you observe a safety hazard that poses risks to you, to other personnel, to your ship, or to the environment, you have the right and the responsibility to stop the work and call for help.